Look at that. <laughs> I want to preface this video by saying you definitely shouldn't do this at home. Brad Mondo will scream at you. Do not follow this. This is not a hair tutorial. This is um, probably what you shouldn't do. Just if you're watching this video, don't do what I do. Since I've documented my journey of growing out my gray hair for the last two years, essentially, I thought it would be only fair to cut my hair on camera and like signify kind of the end of uh, an era. Can you call it an era if it's only two years? I don't know, but this is something that's kind of like celebratory for me. I realized that I haven't actually cut my hair since like April last year. That's why it looks so bad. <laughs> but I'm just ready to chop it off. So I'm gonna try to cut this off and based on like the condition of the ends of my bangs, I'm probably gonna do a bang too. And we'll see what happens. My hair's like slightly damp. It's been air drying without product, so it's getting a little bit frizzy. But yeah, here we go. Let's see what happens and let's get this off so we can celebrate two years of natural hair growth and uh, letting my authentic self come through with this prematurely gray hair. It's funny because when I cut my hair, I like literally put a garbage bag between my legs and just like lean over it. It's like, it's not cute at all. Um, so I might have to turn and look at my mirror too because using this viewfinder in the camera is not the best method. So, yes, let's get started. I'm just gonna brush out a little bit. Fun note about me is like, I really don't care about my hair. I'm willing to take a lot of risks <laughs> and I'm pretty apt to destroy it <laughs> um, unintentionally, but I've never been a person who goes to the salon regularly, but I think now that I've spent so much of my energy growing up my natural hair, I think that I might start doing that and taking better care of it. Okay, so I'm just gonna tie the ends. And my thought process is that I wanna get above where I want to cut off. Um, make sure they're even. Actually take off less is what I meant. Take off less than what I would think so I can cut more into it and then I'm not just like starting here and then making it shorter and shorter trying to even it out. So I'm just gonna turn in my mirror and see if it look even. I mean not really but we're gonna have to go for it. You can see I probably need to take off here. These are way too big. I don't know why I'm using these. <laughs> I think I'm, I might just actually pull it down and just snip. Should we do it? Let's just do it. Boom. We still gotta go up more. And this is like, not good, but <laughs> it'll get there. I'm being braver now on the other side. I'm not even gonna point cut into it. I'm just gonna snip. Bye bye hair. Bye bye hair. See, if you left it like this, look how choppy it would be. Not good, but we're making progress. You know, I think I'm feeling bold and I'm just gonna do another round of just snip, snippity. I'm about to risk it all and just cut this off again. Look at that. <laughs> I 
That's awful. No fear though. I have no fear. Full sending it. Full send. Look at that. Look at this nice little shelf we have here. That's intentional. I mean, it's kind of getting cute, but like, just don't look at the back. Okay, hold on. I find my bangs to be distracting. I think we should cut bangs now and then come back to fix this. I'm back. <laughs> Looking ridiculous. Um, I'm going to do the classic twist and chop. I'm going to do the cutting up into the bangs. So let's get the garbage can back positioned. All the hair. I'm gonna do a twist first. I don't know why you twist, but I know someone suggested that before. So at this point, I'm gonna start cutting up just to be safe. This is way too close for my eyes. Like, I cannot see what I'm doing. So blurry. So blurry. I've always wanted to have like a, a thick bang that can cover my full forehead. It's not a really big forehead, but it always seems like there's something about my hair that just it does not want to go that way. Okay, I'm back and this is what the hair looks like. I got a little tired. <laughs> it's probably like an hour later. Not feeling that great. Um, I got kind of hungry too, so I made pizza. I mean, they're tortilla pizzas, so not as satisfying, but I figured this is a celebration. This is a party. And what is a party without pizza? Certainly not a type of party that I want to go to. So review of my hair. I cut out all the blonde that I could. I think I got all of it. It's not perfect, clearly, because I did it myself. Um, this side could definitely use some more like cutting into it, because this side really it slopes like pretty decently. This side doesn't as much. What I've noticed. Um, I went a little bit shorter on the bangs from what I showed you before I failed and <laughs> made the food. I really like it. I think it's cute. My goal is to have long hair though. I've kind of been going back to this style for a while where my hair has been pretty damaged at the ends from like excessive bleaching. So then I cut it all off. But yeah, I really enjoyed having that long hair that I had. If the ends weren't completely dead, I wouldn't have, um, I wouldn't have cut it. But I am also a person who's not attached to my hair. I can do drastic changes and not feel really any type of way about it. <laughs> I'm not emotionally attached to it. Like to an extent, obviously I wouldn't want to lose my hair completely, but I'm not attached to length or having a certain style. And clearly I don't care about the color anymore because here we are, natural color. Personally though, I love it. Like. I love this color. What I like about this haircut is that you can kind of do like, you still have enough to do like a cute little ponytail. You can do it like a little half up, half down bun thing. And then it would show all my silver hair really well. I think that could be cool. And then the biggest thing I would say for a haircut like this, if you have straight hair like me, would be, if it's not perfect, curl it. <laughs> Curling it fixes everything. Especially in the back, I'm sure it's not as good as it could be. So I typically like to put in a little bit of curl throughout it. And it just looks like messy and shaggy and like it's supposed to be that way. And I actually really don't mind a haircut that looks a little bit choppy. I know that might sound crazy to some people, but 
And I swear this isn't like cognitive dissonance. I'm not going back and like trying to justify things because I mean, if I admitted that I don't like this style of hair, then I just feel very conflicted. Like, oh, what did I do to myself? Why did I ruin my hair? But I really do appreciate like a, a shaggy, choppy, like imperfect haircut. I think there's something so rebellious and cool about that. It looks like you just went into your, I mean, I, I did close to this, but it looks like you just went into your bathroom and like just started chopping. Like you're some cool punk girl who just like doesn't care. You'd shave your head if you wanted to. Like, I really respect that. But yeah, I've had this style many times before. I think it's cute. The bangs are cute. They help disguise the forehead, the huge forehead. I will think, I think I will favor having the long hair. I think also like the longer hair makes my face look a little bit slimmer since I'm kind of like chubby in the cheeks. So I was feeling like, I don't know, I was liking the vibe of the long hair. But here we are. Um, yep, two years of growing out natural hair color, which is prematurely gray. Thank you for all the positive messages. I know I didn't really show everything, but I just felt like it would be boring. <laughs> but yes, cheers. It's not that good, but it's good. It's good for the soul. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Um, let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see going forward. Um, any gray hair videos. I have some ideas, but even if it's not about gray hair, anything else you'd like to see, please let me know. All right, thanks so much for watching. I want you to remember, don't just make up your face, make up your mind too. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat this. <laughs>